guys. So happy to say we just got back from the <laughs> Bob Marley video or movie or biography. Um, so Nicole has decided to get me in on this, and we're gonna have a little dialogue here. And uh, I figure we should hear from the resident Jamaican first, and then uh, maybe I'll get some opinions myself or more observations. Really, I think. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, I guess from maybe from a Jamaican perspective, because I'm a Jamaican, I can maybe speak for a Jamaican. <laughs> One can only hope. But maybe, <laughs> yeah. But I think, um, as far as looks, I think he looks very similar to Bob Marley. Mm -hmm. he, he looks very similar. Um, I think they they hit it, the nail on the head with that. Like it was about ten out of ten, I would say. In in terms yeah, of his, looks. his mannerisms too, I think they did a really good job yeah. of mimicking that. Yeah, he his did very really expression, good. Mm -hmm. like just the way he was. I just thought that was pretty cool. How he, yeah, you can see he studied a lot more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So in terms of that, I can say yeah, ten out of ten. The accent though, <laughs> the accent was more of an accident, but <laughs> uh, I think he didn't really sound too much like a Jamaican. He more sound kind of trendy to me more than Jamaican. Um, but I kind of understand why they would probably not have chose a Jamaican to do the movie because um, I know that when you're Jamaican, you're, when we talk, sometimes our accent <coughs> tend to be like very deep. Mm -hmm. And sometimes this this is a, not a movie just for Jamaicans. It's for it's a movie for the world basically because he's known worldwide he's known well, by like everybody his music, right? like his exactly music the world. right so i feel like if he was maybe if the actor was accent was too much too deep or too deep um maybe people who weren't jamaican would not have understood what he was saying mm -hmm. so in that sense i kind of get it why they probably didn't go with a real born jamaican or somebody whose accent wasn't too deep because <laughs> I found myself even checking in on my partner here <laughs> um, a couple of times during the movie to see if he actually understood what was being said um, a, a couple other times and for the most part you did because a pain pat me talk to him more time and sometimes be shocked when he understand me because sometimes I'll say something and then I'll be like you understand what we just say because <laughs> he'll be responding so in we you know so he's doing very well because most time i talk to him so he, he understands um but can you imagine somebody who's not around jamaicans all the time who they may not understand what was going on because even when i was in the theater there were people there who were jamaican there were people of all different races there and some of the jokes that i got i don't think so they 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 got it like those other people got those jokes right so yeah the movie was good i really enjoyed it i had to recommend 10 out of 10. um i feel they could have gone a little bit more in depth though with some of the details excuse me some of the details in that happened in his yeah. life but i guess they didn't want to portray him in a bad light i guess in the because <laughs> we all know about <laughs> It was a womanizer or some of the innuendos that were said by his wife in the movie that he had a lot of a few outside kids so they didn't really go into depth to show who those people were who those women were but i feel like i could have they could have gone more in depth with at least some of that like some of more personal about what was going on and even with the whole political thing, I know like me growing up in Jamaica for one, um, I understand that during during election time, <laughs> I know how crazy it can get. So I it I was really I don't know, it felt kinda surreal in, in certain areas of that movie. Like I was almost reliving some of some of it because as like I said, I know how things can get in Jamaica sometimes when you come out to election. So but yeah, it was emotional. I got emotional <laughs> especially in the last part. We were actually the last people to come out of the theater because I was so emotional. I I like had to wait to regain my composure so um before I was able to leave. So and that catch me off guard. I was not expecting that at all. So, <laughs> cool.
kudos to the writers of this movie. It was really heartwarming to to see his story on the big screen. But yeah, I feel like I talk too much. <laughs> so, <laughs> tell me some what your thoughts are. Well, I mean, honestly, like I would, I would agree. I felt that there was definitely uh, room for for more ex exploring, a little bit about what his his journey was and and some of the roads that he would have taken. But I feel as well that this is more of a sort of an introductory to Bob Marley. Like, I mean, I, I'm not going to profess to be any kind of expert or or <clears throat> anything along those lines. Like, I enjoy his music. I've listened to it since I was a kid. It was part of my sort of my culture when I was coming up, right? Um, mm -hmm. So that was just something that I listened to, and it was, I was kind of excited. I was hoping to hear a little bit more about his story, but I think this movie is, is what it's designed for, is, is to give you a taste, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And I really think Bob Marley is worth the deep dive. Like, it, I really think it's worth you actually getting off your butt and doing the research and finding out about this man and finding out about his story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like you alluded to, there was some, you know, things that he did that was, was not great, <clears throat> But I think this movie was just trying to focus on on the message that he was bringing, and, right. and we all know that we're we're broken vessels, right? Exactly. We're we're not perfect. Nobody is. And mm -hmm. uh, I think really what this movie was looking at was the message he was bringing: the unity, the love, right? Um, breaking down the barriers between everyone, mm -hmm. and and you know finding that path forward that brings us together instead of driving us apart. Pretty love. Right. <laughs> and that was very powerful at the end, where he held the two opposing. Um, Paul Hardy's guys hands together, right? Yeah. So I think that was like the epitome of his of his struggle was was coming to that point and being able to say, look, you know, I brought these two people together, mm -hmm. right? And that was like that was Bob Marley's message. I feel. Yeah, the two so. the two people are the two political part the two political party leaders at the time. Up um, until that point, inciting violence, right? And there's people yeah. literally dying over this. Yeah. Which. <sighs> I don't want to get into it, but yeah, I get it. Yeah, but for the most part, the movie was great. Um, his wife, though, I feel like it, it, their relationship seemed to me more like a friendship more than anything. Than it wasn't like a husband and wife thing. Well, based on how they portrayed it, it seemed like it was more of a close bond, a close kind of friendship situation. Um, yeah, but. It's just that one part where they show where they, they really got whatever. But I mean, I like I would maybe suggest there was other things like their their relationship, at least as the way it was portrayed, was a was a bond built on pain. Yeah. I mean, they were both abandoned by their families, mm -hmm. so they had to come together and support each other. I, I think still waters run deep. I think I think their love was impenetrable. I think it was it was something that was so deep in between them that to the average or the common observer, they would have no idea what their passion is. Yeah. Right? They have no idea how deep... Because you saw it, it. Even though they fought, it didn't take anything for them to come back together. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, it was a simple... Like, he made a simple gesture. I think it was on the stage. He put his arm on her. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. And he, he wrapped himself around her for a moment. He didn't... Like, whatever. And that was it. Just that subtle was mm -hmm. enough to get her to take that step. So I think, I think their love was something beyond what we could ever perceive. Uh, yeah. I think it was deeper than that. Yeah. That's just my personal, from what I yeah. saw anyways. Yeah, that's my take on it, or do you have anything else you want to say? No, I think at worst, like, just bottom line, the music is amazing. Yep. If you didn't watch any of the movie, if you paid no attention to the movie, just the music itself was, was beautiful. Like, mm -hmm. it was just awesome. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love watching them play soccer. Yeah. Uh, that was pretty wicked. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I love seeing that, that connection with his son. I love seeing that that was a priority in his life. Um, yeah. No, I just, it, it was good. Mm -hmm. That was a good movie. I enjoyed it thoroughly. It's yeah. a biography. <laughs> it was. It was. I actually enjoyed it. I, I've never been to the theater and, and actually cry. Mm -hmm. Like, a movie really made me cry like that. Like, it was very... <laughs> I don't know if because I'm Jamaican or whatever, and it, it's very close to home for me, but it's... I got very emotional. <laughs> well, I think it has to be because we, we have no idea what that tension between those parties means, right? We have no idea over here what yep. that looks like. So, yep. I mean, the worst things get over here are, you know, loud and argued <laughs> debates and, yeah. and, you know, <clears throat> scary commercials. Ooh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like there's no guns in the streets, you know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. yeah, definitely a, a, a perspective that, that is um, lost, you know, on anybody that grew up over here, for sure. That's true. 
Yeah. But yes, guys, I truly enjoyed the movie. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Yeah. If you haven't watched it yet, please go out and watch it. Support. Um, you don't have to be from Jamaica to, to, to go and watch it. <laughs> He's known worldwide. So um, I think anyone would enjoy this movie. And yeah, just go uh, with your family, I guess, with your friends, and go yeah. and, enjoy and watch this movie. It was a good watch. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like I would even watch it again. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I feel like I would watch it again. Yeah. No, it's good. Like I said, second time, just listen to the end. <laughs> yeah, the music attention. was really good. Yeah. It was really. And it was so, like, I didn't even realize I knew so much of his songs. Because, yeah. you know, <laughs> growing up, I was forced to listen to those songs, even if I didn't want to. I was, because my grandfather, oh my god. <laughs> My grandfather would play those music like almost every day. Like at one point, like I knew, I, yeah, I was shocked though to see like how much of these songs I actually knew. Like to, to I, don't, I don't know their titles or whatever. Like I can't name them or whatever like that. Well, apart from maybe the Exodus one, because yeah, I, mean, I know that one for sure. <laughs> the name of that one for sure. But um, yeah. Uh, it was good, it was good. Go out and watch it. Yeah. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Pardon me. Cut!